Okay, welcome to my channel. I'm Lavana. I'm owner of White Cedar Cottage. I'll leave the link in the description for my store so you can check out some of my items. Today I wanted to do a short video about chalk paint, specifically Annie Sloan chalk paint. That is the brand of my introduction to it. I found out about it online, I researched it for some time, then obsessed over it, and I found a store local that's a stockist for it. I will leave the link for that store in the description. It's Bloom Boutiques. I'm in the Las Vegas area. It is a very nice store. They sell furniture and gifts and Annie Sloan chalk paint. So her chalk paint is carried with the stockist. You cannot go buy it at a home improvement store or a craft store. Those stores do carry brands of chalk paint, but they are not the same. Annie Sloan chalk paint is really neat because you can get it in the cans and you can also purchase her brushes. The only similar products are big name companies at big box stores and they typically only carry white, black, or gray. I am fond of those colors. They're nice if you're looking for a cheap option, but they are the same for other reasons. Annie Sloan uh, made her paint in like the 1990s, I think, and it says on the can. She has a huge variety of shades now. And it's like over 25 shades. And what's really neat about it is you can mix them all. I think she's the originator of streamlining chalk paint, though there are many other brands out you can find online. I think she's the one that put it on the map. She has waxes and other top coating products. I've only used clear and dark wax. I purchased the paint line before she came out with the gilding and black wax and white wax. And I learned in the beginning that you can use the clear wax and mix in any paint color you want to make your own color wax. She also says you can dye fabric with it. You can paint fabric on furniture, which I have done. <laughs> um, I've dyed burlap with it. You can use it watered down as a wash. You can thicken it for more texture. Prepare to fall in love with her product. It's also um, made without the odors that other paints have. It has like low VOC or no VOC. I should have looked it up. I can't remember what she said, but I did see her talking with her science lab on a video and they said she is very specific on ingredients and the pigments. I also read it's not a lot of like black in the pigment and that's why they mix so well, something like that because she created the paint to be able to mix together. And the most gorgeous colors come from that. I don't have all of the colors in the line. I only have 12 that I'm gonna show you today. I've used a few other colors up. And I noticed that there aren't any real things out there to see blends of all the varying shades on Pinterest or any other social media on here on YouTube. I'm not finding anything and I've looked for many years. So I finally decided to make myself some swatches of color mixes and I'm going to be sharing that with you.
Okay, I will be posting these images on my Pinterest under White Cedar Cottage. So if you want to see the photos that you can pin to save for later, you'll find them there. So these are my swatches. I'm going to keep these in a sketchbook. Okay, so here we are. I have a better camera angle and we're going to be going over the pictures. I am near a window. This is in daylight and I think I may draw back the curtain so you can see it in direct sunlight. I need to pull it back just slightly. There we go. Okay, so this is in direct sunlight and this is just near a window, which I think ideally near a window is generally where you would be using the color. Sometimes you may paint with them and place them outside as decor. I'm very excited to add some additions to my shop and a variety of these colors mixed. So you'll see on the card here in the corner is the base color that I used. This card is Emperor Silk and it is a rich, true red. Okay, so what I did was I used a small paint palette and I put a small amount in each one and then I mixed in other the other colors and I had tiny measuring cups of all the other colors. So I mixed a variety of shades. In this case of Emperor Silk, you can see here the, maybe I'll use this as a pointer. <laughs> this is the English yellow. If I added just a tiny bit of red, it is a very sunburst color. If you, this is not a half and half ratio. Half and half ratio just lightens the red. And I really wanted to see what varieties of shades I can come up with. So this is with a, just a dash of Emperor Silk in the English Yellow. And now I've mixed in a bit more. Here we have Antoinette, which is a baby pink. And a few shades varying in how much I dabbed in of the red. And you can really see the variety that you can achieve. Here's Barcelona Orange. They're varying. The more of the orange is a more of a sunset sort of color. There we have the Antibes Green mixed with Emperor Silk. I think that is really a neat variety of mix. You can see mostly of the green here. It makes it a more mossy green. And the more red you go, it gives you brown to a reddish brick color. Very interesting. Here we have the Napoleonic Blue. They're almost a brown shade. And I'll draw back the curtain again so you can see the trueness of the colors. It's almost brown, but it is a purple, very deep purple brown hue. And this is more blue and this is more red. Here we have cocoa. Coco is a very light, creamy, tannish brown. We have Paris Gray. Duck Egg mixed with Emperor's Silk. We have Province, which is a blue. We have a Bussin Blue. And we have Florence. All right, on to the next card. So this card is going to be the Bussin Blue. Okay, so you can see the richness and direct sunlight the abusin blue, how bold and beautiful these colors become. It's almost okay. hard for me to see it in the daylight once I open that curtain. 
All right, so here we're mixing a bust in blue. We have English yellow. You can see it with Antoinette. I really like the Barcelona orange. And again, all the colors will go through. You can see I've written the names next to all of them. And I don't want to bore you in this video, so again, I'm going to post these on Pinterest. And I'll be having some items in my shop, White Cedar Cottage. Look at that. A bus in blue and Barcelona orange. What a beautiful shade. Very neat. Okay. Okay. I adjusted my camera. Try to get rid of that bar from the sun. So here we are, Napoleonic blue. And that's this color in the corner is where I place that color every time on all my swatches and you can see it mixed in with all the other colors I do seem to have more blue shades <laughs> you are in direct sunlight and with the curtain closed in daylight okay next I have province interesting mix with Antoinette it's very similar to a duck egg shade and that's Provence and Antoinette I really like the varying shades that you can get the Barcelona orange is so beautiful all of them are amazing right. so next here we have the Antibes green and you can see it really puts a lot of green and there we are in sunlight so definitely on Teep's green it's a strong pigment shades even the Napoleonic blue is still very green it's that deep very rustic green blue would look beautiful with gold gilding or black wax so here we are in the daylight and we'll draw the curtain for that direct sunlight very vibrant color Florence interesting mixed with the cocoa it's almost a mossy green and Barcelona orange the more orange at the top. Duck egg. It is such a soft, chalky blue. I think this is a lot of people's favorite, certainly is one of mine. I really like it with Barcelona orange. I thought that was very fun. I was so excited to mix those together in direct sunlight. You can see a uh, duck egg mixed with province and a bus in blue. Just brighten it just a tad. Florence, it just kind of lightens Florence up. Next we have Barcelona orange. I thought this was one of the most interesting colors that varied other shades. You know, mix with the blues and the greens. And you get these really neat browns and peach colors. And in direct sunlight. Here it is with duck egg. And it's just a tiny bit of orange mixed with the duck egg. This next one, we have English yellow. And this is the English yellow. On to Antoinette. Here it is in the direct sunlight. When I mixed it with something like Emperor's Silk here, I just put a tad of the red. Paris Gray. Here in the corner. In direct sunlight. Paris Gray and Barcelona Orange. Look at that. It's almost the gray. Paris Gray just kind of mutes the colors for that very vintage pastel 
Easter egg effect. It is Coco. Here we are. Coco and Province is uh, very neat. I like the duck egg as well. This is very um, vintage vibes to me. Really, they all are. Okay, well, there you have it, and thank you so much.